comes to town, we hang them speakers over the crowd. When the lights come on, everybody screaming, lighters in the sky, yeah, everybody singing, every word to every song of the girl that's singing tonight. When the lights come on, everybody's feeling a hallelujah from the floor to the ceiling. Yeah, the drink that we're having, the smoke that we're having, the party we throw. Everybody, I'm Larry Ridley, FL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we should have a fun one on our hands. It's the Raiders coming in at one and five, going up against the Dolphins, who come in at one and four. Now for the call of this week's seven matchup, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, after an off-season of questions, football is back here in the East Bay at Oakland, California. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Oakland Raiders. They'll come out in the pistol. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Well, sometimes we talk running backs. Sometimes we talk wide receivers. Walford, the tight end in this unit, very important. Clive Walford, a terrific player. Knows how to work the inside portions of the field, but also can surprise you and get deep. And on second and ten now. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And this is incomplete. And a look at the starters for the Miami defense. And Dominican Sue provokes a whole lot of conversation. But at the end, everyone agrees, one of the best defensive tackles in the NFL. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Here we go! Wide and eight! Wide and eight! Throwing his car on third down. Hard throw incomplete. Pass interference call. Charles, you were a defender. You know how hard it is to defend the pass without committing this penalty. And if they would let them play with a little bit more contact to give the defender a better chance, we wouldn't have nearly as many flags. So here we go, first and ten now. First and ten. Here's Carr. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Call it a three-yard game, and that'll make it second down. How about the timing on that one? Where they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Now 
a second down run for Murray. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. And they're just a couple of yards shy of a first down here on third down. third and two. He's got his man on the crossing route. 17 yards on the pickup there and the drive will continue. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic, so anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add it a little extra at the end with a short run. Throwing on first down is Carr. Over the middle here to Brown. And he gets it down to the 32. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it a second down. People like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. throw on second down and he's going to drop this off to his fullback and he's brought down 17 yards on the pickup there the drive will continue it's a first down and they pick up a first down and that came out of the fullback position but as you and i both know that doesn't necessarily mean that's a fullback playing in that spot well times have changed right the old school fullback doesn't really exist anymore we're not getting that same player out of college with all the spread offenses not very many pro style where you actually have a true fullback we're having to make do in the nfl and put guys in that spot who emulate it but aren't necessarily that position and he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Amari Cooper hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The former Indiana Hoosier here, Tevin Coleman. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. going to bring up a third down. Time to feature the offensive starters and our first chance to get a look at Parker. Devontae Parker came out of Louisville with a guy who was known as a mature receiver. Runs routes really well, but the best part of his game, he'll jump over you at the end of a route and go get the football. Let's see if the defense tries any pressure here on third and eight. Detroit! Detroit! Throwing. 
Cook. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. So on fourth down, the Dolphins will ask Matt Darr to kick it away. get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline and this punt goes out of bounds and it'll be marked inside the 40. now the oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over and that last drive a long drive but not just that they had a great air attack going do they stick with that i would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive starting backed up in their own territory why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clear. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this. But run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. First down, Murray. And he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On second down, here's Carr. Letting one go deep. And that is Carr. Touchdown, Raiders. With touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Raiders add six to their lead. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Dan Williams there to make the tackle. Time to meet the defensive starters for the Oakland Raiders, and you want to discuss one of their safeties. I certainly do. Carl Joseph out of West Virginia always did a great job policing the middle of the field. A big hitter knocked the ball away, but really added to his game as last year's a Mountaineer. Became a better cover guy and a better ball hawk before he got injured. They were really can't get away from the pressure. Cook goes down. Bruce Irvin, he's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. So a big sack on second down. Now let's see what the offense has in store for third. They send stills in motion. gun now on third down he's gonna let one go deep for parker incomplete both players were there offensively and defensively but it falls incomplete one thing i know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges you've got to play the ball really well it's a 50 50 jump ball play and guess what they took a shot how are you going to win it and in this case they managed to get it done Taken right around the 44. 35 yards that time on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
And now Oakland ready to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Running one fly deep for Cooper. Into a double team and it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And the Dolphins getting set to go here. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal. Put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. together here from the D-line. Come out throwing here on first down. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. throw it. He's going to wind up and air it out. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Here's Coleman on the toss. Room here to run. And a good stiff arm and some space to run. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Dolphins in possession of the football. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. now they trot back out and last time one play interception so this offense they should be fresh <laughs> that's a good way of putting it and i can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception a lot of people think the very next time out run the football don't give them a chance maybe play action i think maybe you go play action show your quarterback get a little confidence in him and let him fling another one They go play action for Murray. Now Carr. Got a man and he hits him in stride. <laughs> Give him 30 yards there. A lot of receivers see the drag route as a risk-reward type of a play. The risk going into the middle of the field where there's some big people who want to hit you. But the reward is oftentimes you get lost in coverage. Running a little bit underneath. And when you catch it just right as we just saw there, the end result can be a big, big play. Murray the lone setback. Now a play fake here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there. And it's second down. Right, here we go. 
Now Carr throwing on second down. And he's got Cooper on the out route. That's complete. That one good for 14 yards. And they're going to face a third down. So they're operating in the red zone. One receiver to the left is Cooper. Time running out here on the play clock. Now call. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way, but it does get over the bar. And that will swell the lead to 16. So as it turns out, that sack does not wind up costing him, at least in terms of getting points, they get three. Yeah, once you see your quarterback go down the backfield, you think, uh-oh. But fortunately for them, the kicker came to the rescue and made sure they got something out of that drive after all. This fielded at the two. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. But they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. And he's brought down. They'll get 17 yards there. And the Dolphins are going to get a first down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? They go play action here on first down. And his throws Ray Burton, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Williams call it a pickup of seven and they're going to have a third down in today's football where receivers break tackles make people miss <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot that's a big time play by the defense third down and three Deep here for Parker. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. Here's Matt Dar now, as he's on to punt for Miami. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. 
most of the time it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Hey, we're going red all the way. Alert. All right, here we go. Red, 18. Red. Hey, we're going rally. Red, all right, here we go. Zebra. One receiver to the left is Cooper. Zebra. 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 Watch out, watch out, watch out. Car to throw on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. Throwing his car on third down. Cooper's got it. Seven yards on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Now, that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. This is taken at the 23. They juked him. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. No, no, no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. Hurry up. Here we go. Back to Flona. Nowhere to go. Here he lost the football. 